Hello all, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a cast metal texture on plastic. Uh, I'm going to be using Mr. Surfacer 500. You can pick this up at any hobby shop. Um, I like this one because it goes on a bit thicker than the other Mr. Surfaces that are out there. Plain old paintbrush. And this is the section that I'm going to be working on. So it's this gun mantlet right at the front here. Let's see if we can get that in focus. So it's got a little bit of texture on it, but really there's not a lot to work with there. Um, it's an old kit, it's a 1970s, 1980s kit, and it can definitely be improved. Yeah. So let's see what we can do. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is using this plain old blue tack to hide and cover up the little details that I don't want to lose. So there's this little ring on the top here, and there's a couple of bolts either side to cover up. This will protect those from becoming all looped up by the texture and uh, hopefully keep the detail. So give your Mr. Texture, Mr. Surfacer, a good shake. Um, you want to make sure that it doesn't all get glued up in the bottom of the bottle. Um, a fresh bottle always works better than an old bottle. The texture when, it first, when it's fresh is much, much better. And we're just going to stipple it on like this. Um, you can certainly work in a couple of layers. You don't feel that you have to put it all on in one big, thick, gloopy layer. Uh, I find it actually works better in a couple of layers. Too busy watching the camera there and not watching where I was glooping. And basically, yeah, we want to just get that texture in like this, where you start to get that real cast metal texture. Like I said, don't worry too much about the first go. Um, we'll probably be doing a couple of layers here. You get the idea? And here is the final result. As you can see, the cast texture is uh, a lot better than what the original moulding was like. Um, yeah, to my eye, much more believable. Quite in cast, in keeping with the scale. Um, if you do get a bit wonky handed and you've scraped and you've managed to splodge someone to the rest of your model, once it dries, it just scrapes off pretty easily. Um, it's not a big deal. Um, I would recommend using an old paintbrush with this technique. It really does destroy your bristles pretty quickly. It really gloops it up badly. Uh, what else? Quite a fast, quite, quite a fast drying time, about sort of 15 minutes tops. And um, yeah, I'd recommend it. Um, if you have any questions or any queries or suggestions of topics you'd like covered, do feel free to comment below. And otherwise, we'll chat to you next time with Dave's Model Workshop. Cheers, guys.